Well, the world's largest breast cancer charity, very well-known group, has decided to cut off funding for screenings that are performed by Planned Parenthood. Now, the organization says that it's because Planned Parenthood is facing congressional inquiry into whether federal money was used to fund abortions. Florida Congressman Cliff Stearns is heading up that investigation, uh, and he joins me now. Uh, Congressman Stearns, welcome. Good to have you here this morning. Thank you, Martha. And this is getting a lot of attention because, of course, the Susan Komen Foundation is the largest breast cancer organization. Uh, they're the people who, you know, put those little pink ribbons on absolutely everything to raise awareness uh, and to raise funding for breast cancer research and for screenings. Now, they've had a long-running partnership with Planned Parenthood, but now they're saying the board of Planned Parenthood, the national board of uh, Komen, I should say, is saying that because you're doing an investigation into this group, they're no longer going to fund them. Do I have that right? Uh, that's correct. Let's put it in perspective. Planned Parenthood has been around for over 50 years. I'm the first congressman to ask for financial information. So we're doing a financial oversight investigation. Uh, Planned Parenthood gets roughly $487 million, roughly half a billion dollars every year from taxpayers. And all I'm saying is, where is this money going? So I've asked for their ten, 10 years of records dealing with 88 affiliates in the Planned Parenthood, and I think it's a reasonable request, and it's an ongoing investigation. Now, what can you tell us, if you know, about Planned Parenthood? Because there, there's some information out there that says that Planned Parenthood does not do uh, mammograms or doesn't do a lot of mammograms. Uh, is that the case? Well, no, they're getting, uh, I think, about 600000 from the uh, Susan Coleman uh, Not-for-Profit Foundation, so they're using the money for something. It's not quite clear, but uh, Martha, there's been a lot of uh, states who have fined uh, Planned Parenthood for overbilling and for fraud in Medicaid. In fact, recently the uh, New York Inspector General for Medicaid uh, found a huge amount of money of overbilling and fraud by Planned Parenthood. They agreed to settle, just like they did in California, for five million dollars of overbilling and fraud. Uh, plus, you know, I've had seven employees who worked. Uh, for many, many years for Planned Parenthood have come to me and cited all the abuses that Planned Parenthood um, has been practicing. So I think, I think as a, uh, a member of Congress, uh, we should do oversight of Planned Parenthood. It's a huge amount of money at half a billion dollars a year, and it's a reasonable request to look at their financial information. Yeah. It's an ongoing financial uh, investigation. We're going to have to leave it there, but you must be pleased that the Komen Foundation is basically supporting your interest in investigating where this money is going, correct? I think they're making the right decision based upon the history and the evidence in court cases. So I think, um, I think it's very good that they did that. All right. We hope to talk to uh, the founder of the Komen Foundation about this. We're working on that for tomorrow. Congressman Stearns, thank you very much for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Martha. Yep.